I'm out here in the desert. It's not exactly a desert, it's just some barren land. Uh, just needed to be with nature for a little bit. Just sat down, read, read a book for a little while. It's feeling all kinds of strange. Uh, I have a lot of work on my plate at the moment and I'm just kind of powering through it. So what I'm trying to do is make a video each Friday for my main channel. And then everything else I create will go on the second channel. But I put five days into this video so far and it isn't quite to where I need it to be. So I've got to put another day in, finish out today, get it done. And then I'll feel better. <laughs> I'm reminded all the time that I can do anything I want to at any moment. It's your choice to make sure it's something that's good for you and for the earth. But you can do anything at any moment. The curfew here in Valencia ends in a few days, which means everyone will be allowed outside past 10 p.m. Now that's when I get up to my most shenanigans. I like to climb buildings and cranes. Advertisement boards. I like big climbing frames, challenges, but that kind of stuff you can't do during the day when everyone's watching. That's how you get caught. That's my nighttime activity. Since I've been here in the city, I haven't been able to do that. So we were out last night past curfew by about two hours because we missed the last train back. Basically, Dice wasn't wearing his mask, eating some bread on the way to the train at about 9:30 p.m. So the police pulled him over. There was a lot of back and forth until I had explained to him that you have to wear the mask outside, you can't eat food while you're walking around. It's a strange rule, but he didn't, he didn't understand it. So he puts his mask on, he doesn't offer them his ID, so they go through his bag, they just steal it off him. Anyway, I had done nothing wrong, so I went over to the train, tried to catch the last one, it went off without us, missed it. Yeah, we ended up having to walk home, and we were walking around in the back roads, through the parks, trying to avoid police cars. It was stressful, but then I realised that soon curfew's gonna be over. I can go out at night time and do whatever I want. There's a lot of things I want to do. I want to go night hiking through the forest, alone. I just want to do it, middle of the night. It's me and the stars. So yeah, I feel a bit better knowing that the restrictions are lifting. Still have to wear a mask outside at all times, but the, restri the, the restrictions that have been crushing me have been lifted. It's a good feeling, I guess. I love hanging out at the top of trees, but I haven't been doing it a lot lately and it's like actually affecting me. My climbing's a lot worse. My upper body strength isn't very good. Getting fat. <laughs> these are all things that have never happened to me before. I've always been very active. And because of these kind of restrictions, I've, my days are limited, so I don't set enough time aside to do physical activities like climbing trees. I do yoga every morning, but nothing crazy. I don't, I don't hike as much as I used to. I don't climb as much as I used to when I should because those things make me feel good. While I'm up here, I think I'm just realizing that, is that I need to do more things that make me feel good and not just short burst things, like getting high, eating junk food, playing video games with no purpose, um, all this stuff, just watching YouTube mindlessly, all this stuff is eating my time, which is finite. We don't have unlimited time, so we have to choose what we do with it and be conscious of it. And I've been in, a, in an edible binge for the past couple of weeks, since 4.20, and I'm finally out of it. I ran out of weed yesterday, finally, I'm out of it. Because when I have weed around, I can't stop doing it. I'm, I don't like facing my problems sometimes, and when they build up, it gets overwhelming. So I get high to escape it. Just escape it. And weed's sort of the only drug I've ever done this with, because it feels so harmless. When the reality is, I'm actually numbing myself and hiding from my problems instead of facing them. Hiding from my work even, I'm like backed up on work so much because of this. And it all affects me, so these instant gratification things, like getting high, eating, eating junk food, they actually have consequences. <laughs> so now I'm behind on work, I'm getting fat, I'm, unhealth I'm unhappy, and I'm taking it out on my friends and it's, it's frustrating. I'm frustrated with myself. <laughs> Something I was talking to Charlie about last night was that I don't have, when things get really overwhelming emotionally, I don't have somewhere to go, somewhere to go to. I can't just walk to someone's house. I don't trust anyone enough here to just go and show up and spill my feelings. Like I cried for the first time 
yesterday. I haven't cried in weeks or months, I don't even remember. But I cried the other day. I cried yesterday because of a TikTok. It's like... I've been numbing even my emotions with weed. I want to make a whole video about this, maybe not when I'm standing in a tree, holding on with my finger. But I just wanted to let you guys know I'm doing okay today. I'm doing better. I need to talk about this though. This is fascinating what I've discovered about myself. I'm gonna get down from this stuff. <laughs> There's a red squirrel up there. I'm kind of freaked out that I'm here. <laughs> What's up? Wow, oh, there's cactus. Cactal skeleton right there. Check this out. There's a pool down there. Like a small pond. See that? That's water. Out here in the desert. Forbidden swimming pool. But there's this tunnel, this sewer tunnel that just goes somewhere and we're gonna go inside and explore it. There's a homeless man's belongings hanging up. Yeah, we don't know what's in there, we're just gonna go have a look. Oh, it is cold. Oh, it's really cold. Yeah, it's nice. All right, you got this. Nice.
hands over here. <laughs> got the soap over here. <laughs> I love that you have that, but yeah. Oh, jeez. Get cockroaches. <laughs> This one. Oh, this one's tough. Yeah. I have something. I'm ordered. No, I wasn't a motor. I was like a deep. <laughs> the big fat. No, hopefully not. So I climbed up here a second ago, and there was like a deep, deep sound. It scared me so much I didn't even turn around. I just jumped off the wall. It was like, <laughs> yeah. I just got done drawing uh, Charlie's chameleon. His name is Uji. And he is beautiful. There you go. Oh, chirpy dude. He's such a beautiful chameleon. I miss him. He's so great. Last time I saw him, he fell asleep in my dreads. It was nice. Time to go home and edit this video. I uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this file dump. This is basically... This is what I do on this channel is I... I film throughout the week, whatever I'm up to and then I kind of just dump it all. If it doesn't have any kind of structure to it, so if it's not like a daily vlog, it becomes more of a weekly vlog or bi-weekly vlog. So I just dump it all into here and call it a file dump. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, you didn't know what I do here. This is just a, a daily vlog, but not quite. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new, you leave a like on the video. Uh, it's probably really windy, so yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.